Well, I I have noticed the stuff I was promised the case is going to be by the Slovenian police, uh, again by the British. Uh, but now uh, things are getting incredibly, incredibly interesting. Uh, I see here a notice. There were posts before that were modified to me on my new site, Auser Times. This is my blog. But I have not seen anything like this because it appears that I have no idea. It could be a blogger. It could be American Sergey Brin that took initiative to literally unpublish my posts. So this is about a freedom of speech that you can see also on the blogger through the blogger that took a completely different turn. It appears are extremely, extremely sensitive to political issues. Do not allow me to engage in a political issue. So through this is a completely political thing. Uh, and I'm not dreaming. You can see here what exactly was it that blogger appears okay this post was unpublished because it violates blogger community guidelines a blogger alone have done it and i noticed already before and i really wasn't sure i wasn't sure about what the fuck went on because every time i would check uh modify it even um text i couldn't come to terms who the hell is logging inside of my blogger account what the fuck goes on eh? and now well the blogger the police slovenian police claimed they will be doing all kinds of stuff but this here this is already demonstrating something completely blatant about what really goes on here I have a private American Central Intelligence Federal Bureau investigation editors here on this new site. It's not the Russians that are doing this. It's one eight hundred London Cabal. It's about the freedom of speech, the, the the coming the coming liberators, the 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 freedom of the world that we are subject to. They don't they don't respond accusations. They don't respond to the crime they created because they are gods. What they do is they become editors, the film producers, manufacturers of our lives. This isn't about obviously about any kind of freedom. This is about something else. And you can see here what blogger claimed credit for to have unpublished itself. I did not unpublish any of this stuff here. Germany, Britain, United States of Fascist America. Boy. United States of Fascist America appears have bursted in anger because of what I posted here. But this stuff, however, is related to United States this this is related to the violence to the brutality united states of america have exercised against me you cannot go hijack abduct people beat them up torture death threaten them for no reason you cannot it's with idea with your expectation you're going to turn them to a terrorist so you can go and you can you can create the world according to your taste according to your one vision What is the problem with this stuff? What, what exactly have I done it? I have warned about my situation because of which 29 years of my life was destroyed. I have warned about what went on inside of this residence here in the city of the Novomesto with the Central Intelligence Agency, with the MI5, with the MI6, with the British intelligence, with the Germans, with NATO allies. What exactly have I done?
with Russia, with Vladimir Putin, with people that were meeting inside of this house, inside of this room. So what exactly is going on here with this stuff? What's happening with you, United States of America? I'm going to tell you what's happening with you. Today, Lavrov have condemned you for a, being a fascist neo-Nazi state as you are. You are a neo-Nazi. You are a fascist. One world, one vision country is what you are, together with your NATO allies, whom you, by the way, also serve. You are. There is no doubt about it. You have not responded to the crime accusations against you. You act like a god. You act like Stalin did in Ukraine during Holodomor. Ukraine, which you cannot defend, it appears to me, as evident, as obvious. And what it appears more and more evident to other allies that appears to me in the near future, are going to be leaving your NATO alliance. It appears to me that your floor are shuddering, that you lost the credibility throughout the world. It appears to me that for what you brought me to India and to the China, it wasn't only Ukraine and other parts of the world where you were subjecting me to torture inside the people into torture against me for the sake of espionage, extortion criminal network that you built through my case, no American general could possibly imagine. American military forces, army, without my involvement in crime. Not a single one. Talking about espionage. Not a single one. Why have you repeatedly used me like this? Why have you repeatedly subjected me to torture throughout the world for the espionage? So the UAV's job on other people, on other countries. Why? If I was so much not important, if I was so much no good, and everything about me was so bad, what do you fear? Why have you unpublished now the stuff? Why do you, why do you have CIA editors, FBI editors editing the stuff that's none of your business? This is a human rights complaint. It's accusation clearly pointing at those who went after my life. Prince Charles, now King Charles is number one. Individual who pointed me in 2017, I will be already dead six months before this will even come out, see the world. It will be all too late for me. What the fear? What the fear so much? What the fear? What's going on? What is the fear? Why so much fear if you have nothing to hide from? Why to do this? Why such a fear? Why can't you face the reality? Why, why can't you cope with the reality? Why can't you face up with the reality? Because today, you're going to lose Ukraine. You already did. And tomorrow, as I stated, it's going to be more people, the world, that already see through you. They read you already. They read in your neo-Nazi, fascist, one world, one Aryan race face. Through the fog, through the clouds, they can see deep inside of you who you are, what you are all about. And so the world knows it. As per someone like myself, you have done this too. World, world understands. There is no such thing as allegiance to you. World knows there is no such thing as loyalty from you. So what's going on? What's happening? Why? What's going on? All this is what the United States of America now have unpublished, so that you folks get to see what's going on. This is what's going on. Here, this is what's going on. None of this here have I unpublished. All this here was unpublished by United States of America on behalf of British, on behalf of London.
Why are British so desperate? What is it? What is it that British? It's land of the freedom, no? Isn't it? It's land of the milk and honey. It's where the freedom is at home. The bravery. There is no racism in Britain. There used to be colonialism. They whacked, I don't know how many people, how many tens, hundreds of millions of people. But today it's different. Today it's 2023. We have a Prince William going to the charity organization where black people and people of other colors are employed to demonstrate us the freedom, the prosperity that people of colors compared to British natives homeless under the bridges have in Britain alone. No, this is not the people of color in the Britain. This is about a hypocrisy. What was I brought to the great, and what is so great about Great Britain for? For some 26 years, I was tortured throughout the Britain. For what? Exposed also, as I said, the people of colors. Minorities, if you like. Not only British whom they have whacked, jacked, robbed of lives. What's happening here? What's going on here? What is going on here? What is, what is, I love to know, I like to get the feedback from the British. What is it? Is it, is it, is it hurting you? Is it pain? Are you losing a strength, a power, a superiority? What's going on? What's happening? What you started with the China, it appears to me you couldn't you couldn't go anywhere. You wanted your allies to condemn the China, but today I see that you handshake with one. Well, what I'm gonna say to everybody in NATO. Don't be stupid. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Don't be insane. Don't follow your American patron to hell. Your British supremacy. Don't follow your German paths of past or I should say don't follow German paths of past into the hell of tomorrow you will regret look at that right there British Beatrice and her Italian hobby Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi look at this look at it look what they censored look at the post what they censored is it like really really bad is like really, really some, something bad I have published here? Is it like really, really so sensitive here? What exactly is so sensitive about this? What have I posted here against the community guidelines, against the community standards? So you can torture all you want, you can murder, you can kill. But the person whom you have done this to in your great NATO alliance, an individual, a member, citizen european union citizen of which i also became citizen of united states of america for all the bullshit wrong the most evil fucked up in my life reasons is not allowed to even publish stuff like this cannot is not allowed to relate to other nations to other nationalities because you know what what was i brought to china for by the british what for what have british demanded from me Hatred. Steering the hatred. I was a pawn for the greater British, Brito American Empire that was used for some time. But did not close doors to my conscience to point out 
what this crime was all about and who had done it. And today, the reality is biting. Come on, United States of America, Great Britain. Who else is going to step out of your great NATO alliance? What exactly do you fear? How many are going to go out? And what exactly is going to happen then with you geographically, with your superiority, with your, with your heist to rule the world? What, what do you fear so much? This here, this is what you fear. This is, this is your biggest fear. This stuff here, this is your biggest fear. This is how British presented me to the world through United States of America. Literally, this is what my U.S. citizenship was for. This is what I was awarded American citizenship for. Exactly what you see here. So what is, what is so, what is so painful about the truth? This website is going to go back. It's going to go in full motion. It's going to go based in some other part of the world. So that people can see about reality inside of the European Union. I'm a Slovenian native for all the wrong reasons. Also wrong reasons. Slovenia is a member of European Union. No. We are members of the European Union for what you see here. This is right there, preview. You see that? That's what is a happy day when you get inside of the European Union. You are to preview your life. You no longer exist. You are to move your hand up and down to your German, British, Lords, Masters, Owners. Or you will be wiped out even a little bit faster. So what is so painful? What is so painful? Me writing this? Or you're facing with what you have done over the course of 26 years under MK Ultra Torture? Or maybe you want to say, MK Ultra torture never existed. What is it? What is it? Today, I've seen your handshake with the China. What cost did that handshake have? China, temporary closing eyes to this website. That's, good. That's how you do it. You're buying time. You build crime, and then you buy time. That's what you do. You buy time. You get somebody from Korea, Japan from another country, from another part of the world that is inside of this greater NATO allegiance, alliance. And then when a crime is built and the truth comes out, that's when you go and you allow a little bit more Hyundai to be sold, Toyota to be sold. You blink with the eye. You make your allies close their eyes. You sign a transfer, a few tanks, and so on. But you know what? So they don't see the person that you murdered, that you butchered for 29 years. This is the case of the United States of America, of Germany, of British. A crime that deprived me of 29 years and left me nothing but with cancer. With one parent in home for elderly, with the other one, don't know how much also have left in me with a cancer and with a broken spine. So, for the free world to know what Western democracies are all about, for the free world to understand what Western see nothing, hear nothing, know nothing, journalism that participated directly in a physical torture is all about that's what this is all about that's what this is all about and so it hurts i'm glad i was the one 
Because so today, the humanity, entire humanity, including those inside the NATO alliance, can understand what their tomorrow will be like, what their tomorrow, where their tomorrow is taken to. Regardless. So this here appears, it hurts, it's a pain. I didn't kill Afghani people like Prince Harry did, but that really doesn't matter. What matters is something else here in this case. I'm quite shocked that, in fact, uh, it was not even Slovenian police that directly engaged in what you see here. And on the other hand, please, what we have seen and for the world to see what this is all about. It's not a paranoia. You have seen the message over there. This message makes sense. All the sense. That one can make. When pointing out what you see here. It wasn't the post that was unpublished. It was many, 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 many posts. It wasn't the post.
Mm -hmm. So this is also to absolutely assure you that it's a blogger who had done this because I cannot even publish back. You see this here? This is to publish, right? If you would go and if I would go and I reload this page, the only thing I have to do here is like this, let's say. You go like this, you click and you publish the post. Hey, you see that? That's that. So now the post, as you see right there, it's published. Yeah. And if you would unpublish one, it would look like this. It would turn into draft. Oh, that is interesting. That's very, very interesting. Because it doesn't even allow me to publish. One is, once it was reverted to the draft, uh, what's interesting, it does not allow me to republish one back. So that the blog is, is in a, such a... Uh, they transform the blog. They, they appears have... I'm not going to say hijack the template, but this is literally from the blogger. This is literally guided by American Central Agency completely, totally, because you cannot even republish anything. You can't even publish back. You can't do anything about it. You see what this is? So for me to say, I am very, very, very satisfied very very satisfied uh by what i see because i see this as an ultimate recognition of crime which i have accused the united states of america as far as using a human experimentation that went on for no less than 26 years to prove their point or i should say their point of view yeah you understand me what i'm saying to prove their point of view with whether you're going to do it like this, the way we say, and they had the whole set of rules with Germans, with the British, or we're going to make you even disappear. Yeah. So what we see here is something that completely, completely confirms my accusations, my pointing at United States of America, British and foremost Germans on behoof on behoof on whose behalf the United States of America Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau of Investigations have repeatedly hijacked me from Miami. The hijackings without my exiting United States of America even went on straight for eleven and a half years. Yeah. So this is what humanity should understand. This is what humanity should know about United States of America. Anyone say it's allies? Nah, United States of America is just a pound. This is just a British, German, Saxe, Coburg, Gotha pound. That's what that is. There's nothing more to it. And so that's what we can all expect, exactly what you see here this year. So, cannot even republish, and I can't wait to post this on the blogger, on the internet, so for people to see what is going on. Nice. After 29 years of torture under MKUltra, SIA began to publish on behalf of British and German Germany a post from my blog citing community guidelines. Posts which SIA have unpublished concerned one concern none of community guidelines and are rather subject to Western guilt lines police by neo Nazism fascism in the name of one world, one race, one vision. Well, Prince William, 
The cards are now on the table and the masks have fallen off. The world knows. So that, folks, you can still download. I got this done yesterday. And I'll try to find myself a platform that is not Western based, if that's going to be even possible. But this is this is a final result of 29 year torture in the name of Germany and Britain. United States of America, this is a pound, man. This is just a land of human rights. Yeah, that's, that's the reason also why we have so many human rights. Rather than to have one that would do its job, we have God knows how many human rights that are based on the West. I think every country in the West has their own human rights. Actually, not really. When it comes to human rights, and you have Norwegians with their Nobel Prize and with at least like 10 human rights organizations in Norway uh, with which they trade, you know, with which they broker, or I should say a rather extort, blackmail state crime against the countries whom they ever want to blackmail with a chew and so on. And then, of course, we have in Britain the same thing, and in Germany the same thing. We have uh, Europol now, in the name of the European Union, police, European police located in Netherlands. And we have in Strasbourg the so-called European Court for Human Rights, which is not really from European Union, is so they say, but they don't provide any source, anything that you could use as a citizen of the European Union. The citizen of the Greater Deutschland, the New Reich, to your advantage if crime takes place against you. And that's so because you should finally understand there is no necessity for one. When crime takes place inside of the Europe, you really shouldn't complain because it's all in the name of New Reich. So that's all there is. I got nothing else to say. What we're going to do is we're going to take a date and time. It appears, it finally appears that it was not convenient for the British, for Germans, and for the land of the human rights, for the land of brave and free, for me not to be a Nazi, not to be a fascist. It's actually quite a desirable, especially if you come from some other country, from some other location. You should especially take my case under the very, very, very close uh, very, very, very close overview, because you might be just next to your cousin, your son, your sister, your daughter, whoever, in line to go through some horrific ordeal so that you, your country, not only can be depicted as whatever they want to depict you as, destroy you, but also used to demonstrate the world they are still interested in since they didn't destroy one through opium wars, through the slavery trade, through colonialism, forget about imperialism, on just how better they are off with them and not with you. Yeah, Is that right? I think that's bloody right.